It is a coastal constituency that includes the towns of Nungwa and its surrounding environs. The constituency is known for its vibrant local economy with activities centered around fishing, trade and small-scale industries. It also boasts cultural landmarks such as the Croa Lagoon and several traditional festivals. In 2020's parliamentary elections, the NDC candidate Agnes Namomolate won the seat with 55.80% of the total vote cast, while the MPP's Elizabeth Afolikwe garnered 43.47% of the votes. The NDC highlights several key achievements under Dr. Latte's tenure. One of the things she has done is to reach out to the communities through a program she's called uh, Engagements with the People Through Town Activities. And that is one thing that even the Assembly, in spite of all of its resources, has not been able to do at the extent that the MP has been able to do. When asked about the MPP's new candidate, Engineer Emmanuel Fori, the NDC secretary stated that the people wish to see a candidate with a record of service. The people wish to see a candidate that has a record of service. And that is something that sadly the MPP parliamentary candidate has now. Uh, you cannot image out of nothing and seek to serve the people. On the flip side, the MPP has been actively working to establish a stronger foothold in Crowa, Known for their focus on economic development, infrastructure and technological advancements, the MPP has presented engineer Emmanuel Lafori as a candidate with a robust professional background in engineering and public works. Everything engineer had done is visible. When engineers started the route, they were contesting with us and putting their fries on it. Later, they saw that it wasn't their doing. Assessing performance of the incumbent MP, the communications officer said he would rate her tenure 3 out of 10 as the constituency remains unchanged since she took over. She has done her part, but to assess her, I think I'll give her 3 of The constituency is the same since she took over, so that nothing has changed. You can go to the Nguwa market, that is a main market, that is to the market. You have a lot of maintenance, and she identified herself with that uh, the community. That is how come she won the election. He provided a contrasting view of Dr. Latte's tenure. When you talk about the creating businesses in Nguwa, I don't know where the businesses are today. I was born here, I have lived here, and I know every country in Nguwa. I don't know where the businesses are situated. When they talk about the Uber, I know that she bought some, I heard she bought some three or something cars for her members, her members, and that is what she gave to them. She cannot term that as a benefit for the constituency. It is good for those people that he gave, she gave it. As the elections draw closer, the contrasting views between the MPP and the NDC are clear. The NDC emphasizes Dr. Lata's community engagement and social initiatives, while the MPP critiques her performance and highlights infrastructure contributions by their new candidate. The electorate in Croa faces a crucial decision, with each party presenting its case for why it should lead the constituency forward. The outcome remains unpredictable, reflecting the competitive nature of Croa's political landscape. Imano Somani.